Nissan's CEO says our new solid-state batteries EV will be game-changing. According to a statement from Nissan, the Japanese manufacturer is collaborating with NASA on a new kind of battery for electric vehicles that claim to charge more quickly, be lighter, and be safe. According to Nissan, in order to deliver a product in 2028 and a pilot plant in 2024, the all-solid-state battery will take the place of the current lithium-ion battery. In today's video, we will go through Nissan's new solid-state batteries EV that will be game-changing. Nissan has stated its intentions to introduce electric vehicles powered by solid-state batteries by the year 2028, with the promise of greater range, faster charging times, fewer fires, and support for wireless charging. Nissan's Global Headquarters Gallery in Yokohama, Japan has hosted an exhibition where the news has been made. The future of sustainable mobility concept is the main theme of the month-long exhibition Nissan Futures, which has a special emphasis on cutting-edge solid-state batteries. In an online event, Nissan Motor unveiled their prototype factory for all solid-state batteries. According to the company, these batteries might revolutionize electric vehicles by charging three times faster and having a range that is twice as long as current models. The Japanese manufacturer claimed that it is collaborating with NASA and other partners to commercialize the next-generation cells. According to Nissan, the game-changing technology may lower the price of EVs to that of gas-powered vehicles. Nissan plans to build up a test manufacturing line in the fiscal year 2024 and begin selling EVs with batteries in the following year, in the fiscal year 2028. Kunio Nakaguro, Executive Vice President for Research and Development, said, If we can reach the schedule we have indicated, we will be in a very competitive position globally. All solid-state battery development is being pushed forward quickly by other automakers as well. All solid-state batteries don't have a liquid electrolyte, unlike the lithium-ion batteries used in modern EVs. They have a higher energy density thanks to this innovation, which also reduces fire danger. At its research facility in Yokosuka, close to Tokyo, Nissan gave a demonstration of its prototyping process that day. To make electrodes, which are subsequently crushed and layered, the procedure involves covering the foil in an ink-like solution. All of it is accomplished at a reduced cost as well since solid-state batteries use more common and less expensive materials. Nissan thinks it can lower the cost of car batteries to $75 per kilowatt hour in 2028 and then to $65 per kilowatt hour moving forward, reducing the cost of EVs to the same level as internal combustion vehicles. At the Yokohama plant, a solid-state battery pilot production line is expected to be set up in 2024. For that pilot project, which in turn will lead to a full-scale production facility, the prototype facility will be used to research materials, designs, and manufacturing techniques. In the end, the manufacturer claims it wants to use battery technology in a variety of vehicles, including pickup trucks. It is stable enough to be employed in pacemakers because the battery is all solid state. When completed, it will be roughly half as large as the present battery and recharge completely in 15 minutes as opposed to several hours. Kazuhiro Doi, corporate vice president, told reporters that the partnership with the American Space Program and the University of California San Diego entails evaluating several materials. According to him, Nissan and NASA both require the same kind of battery. Hundreds of thousands of materials are being tested by Nissan and NASA using a database known as the Original Material Informatics Platform, according to Doei. This will allow them to determine which combinations perform best. The objective is to prevent the usage of expensive components such as rare metals which are necessary for lithium-ion batteries. Doei and other business officials said Nissan is also relying on its prior success with the LEAF electric car, which debuted in 2010 and has sold more than 500,000 units globally despite using a different battery technology. 
According to them, there haven't been any significant road incidents involving the LEAF battery, and several aspects of the technology are still in use today, such as the lamination of the battery cell. Other automakers are developing all solid-state batteries, including Toyota Motor Corp, a rival in Japan, Volkswagen of Germany, and Ford Motor Company and General Motors Company in the United States. Honda Motor Company of Japan and General Motors recently announced that they were collaborating on developing the next generation of electric vehicles. However, Nissan Executive Vice President Kunio Nakaguro asserted that the automaker is fiercely competitive and that the battery it is creating is a game changer. Before we move on, for more interesting content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel EV Scene. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever a new video is posted. According to Kunio Nakaguro, Executive Vice President of R&D at Nissan, the knowledge gained from our experience in battery research supports the development of all solid-state batteries, and we've accumulated important elemental technologies. Our R&D and manufacturing divisions will continue to collaborate in the future to make use of this prototype production facility and hasten the adoption of all solid-state batteries in real-world applications. Solid electrolytes are used in solid-state batteries, as the name suggests. The ability of the battery to store more energy in the same volume, also known as energy density, is made possible by the different materials utilized to create the battery and the corresponding chemical changes. The superiority of this new technology over lithium-ion batteries cannot be disputed, with the potential to improve the range by 50 to 80 percent. There are even additional advantages over a lithium-ion battery because it eliminates a large portion of the organic material. A 10 to 80 percent charge can be completed in about 15 minutes thanks to the reduction of chemical bottlenecks, which speeds up charging times. Aside from that, eliminating minerals like cobalt and nickel lowers total prices as well as carbon emissions. By eliminating the toxic and combustible organic electrolytes, the risk of fire is significantly reduced, which also greatly increases safety. By 2025, Nissan hopes to start a prototype production facility for the new battery packs it is developing as part of its Evolved Solid State Batteries initiative. The Japanese car maker anticipates completing its preliminary application engineering by 2026 and launching its first vehicle by 2028. The information was obtained from a report on a conversation Autocar had with David Moss, Senior Vice President of Research and Development for Nissan in Europe. Manufacturers are struggling to make the most of the subpar lithium-ion battery architecture as a result of mounting pressure from governments across the world to lower pollutants and improve fuel economy. These new batteries, however, are more effective, safe, and offer higher performance thanks to solid-state technology. This breakthrough promises to change the game for not only electric vehicles, but for an entire industry, with a range far superior to any leading EV on the market today and shorter charging times to match. All solid-state sodium batteries, as they are commonly referred to, are a new generation of solid-state batteries that the business hopes to develop. The liquid electrolytes in these battery packs will not be present. Because of the battery pack's extremely quick charging times, it is now possible to charge them more quickly, steadily, and consistently, which allows for smaller battery packs in cars. According to Nissan, batteries will be able to constantly accept chargers at a speed of 400 kilowatts rather than than slowing down or speeding up, depending on external variables. Nissan also expects that this pace will become the standard for charging. But the production and architecture of vehicles will be dictated by these battery packs in a completely new ecosystem. Nissan will pursue the development of both vehicles and batteries at the same time, separately, to avoid any interruption to ongoing development projects. The Japanese automaker is also aiming to advance lithium-ion battery technology and plans to switch to cobalt-free lithium-ion batteries in 2028, which the company claims may increase battery packs efficiency by 65%.
Over the next five years, Nissan intends to invest 15.6 billion euros. The business has so far made investments totaling 7.8 billion dollars. Meanwhile, well-known automakers like Ford, BMW, and Toyota are all working on solid-state battery packs for their cars, with plans to release a version by 2025. Due to worries about how using fossil fuels contributes to pollution and climate change, there is an increasing interest in electric vehicles. Tesla and Waymo are two growing EV industry players, and competition is getting fiercer. The crisis surrounding its former star CEO Carlos Ghosn has been something Nissan Motor Company, located in Yokohama, has been eager to put behind it. He was detained in Japan in 2018 on a number of allegations related to financial malfeasance, but he skipped bail in late 2019 and is now residing in Lebanon, the country of his ancestry that does not have an extradition agreement with Japan. He claims to be innocent. The business that also produces the March subcompact and Infinity luxury vehicles, Nissan, was overseen for 20 years by Ghosn, who also supervised the company's electric car initiative. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comments section below. We will see you in our next video. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.